Happy Wednesday. This is Mike here with Lab Society, and I'm going to talk about the differences between various condenser types for various types of distillation, whether it be benchtop short path distillation, terpene distillation, really any type of distillation that you'd want. So the first condenser I'm going to talk about today is probably the most widely known an accepted condenser, at least in the benchtop short path space, and that is the Liebig condenser. Um, essentially, all this is is a tube within another tube, and that outer tube is cooled by a liquid of your choice, utilizing some sort of pumping mechanism, whether it be a chiller, a, um, we used to use these back quite often in uh, the beginning days of benchtop distillation, everybody knows bucket tech, um, water pump and water, you can really do it a hundred different ways. Um, so the benefit of a Liebig condenser is that there's really not a lot of hold up. It's got a lot, it's got a free flow path so that you really don't have to deal with clogging. Um, you can get very large diameters for different types of viscous materials. Um, but the main disadvantage of a Liebig is that there's not a whole lot of surface area. It's just the surface of the tube. So basically the surface area of a cylinder without a top and bottom times the length of this. Um, in that case, we might want to up the surface area. So we might go to something more like a Allen style high efficiency condenser. So we sell an array of different sizes of these. Um, they're really cool because you can run them vertically. They have a drip tip at the bottom or you can run them kind of on an angle right off your distillation head if you wanted to, sort of like that. Um, what's cool about these is that they increase the surface area via the bubbles, but they don't impede flow. So it's not gonna actually cause a whole lot of clogging as there's still quite a bit of space for the material to flow through. These work especially well for hot condenser tech because you can obviously heat up the outside and the inner so that you get extreme surface area and separation surface area. They also work very well for terpene capture. If you're running super cold, you can run this on a more, if you're pulling terpenes out of BHO or something like that. These are really cool condensers that are extremely useful. Another side note, all of our distillation heads have detachable condensers for this purpose. We like to make our systems modular so that you as the operator can choose how you want to run and what you want to condense and the differences in the types of condensers that you run. So another type of Liebig condenser that I'll go over is our vacuum jacketed Liebig. So what's cool about these is that they, instead of being cooled by a liquid or heated by a liquid in the jacket, it's just retaining heat, letting out IR heat, but retaining heat. This is pretty useful in, you know, basically the step below hot condenser tech would be like, utilizing the heat from the distillation to actually cause some reboiling. So these work really well for not using a liquid jacket. Um, they're great for first passes. I actually really like these things. They're pretty neat. They push the um, condensation point farther down the tube. And we have an array of different types of these. This is one with the vacuum takeoff on it and a doer style, but we have ones that are standards, standard style as well. Another type of Liebig, is the jacketless condenser or realistically just a tube of glass. Um, it's got a thermocouple trough in it so that if you want to use our hot condenser mantle and stick your thermocouple in the well, you can detect the temperature of the, the outside of the glass. Um, it also adds a little bit of surface area to the inside. So these condensers are really cool because you don't need to flow a liquid through it. They work very well for hemp operations. THC, good for first pass. But these condensers are great because you don't have to pay to heat anything. You're just using the temperature of the, the vapor condensing as essentially your heat transfers. It lets out heat, it's not vacuum jacketed, so it's going to increase condensation more so than the vacuum jacketed one, but not it'll stay quite hot. In fact, if you're running a liquid jacket on one of these, realistically, unless the temperature of the liquid is hotter than your vapor temperature, technically you're cooling down the vapor a little bit. You're cooling down the condensate because Realistically, if you're set at 100 Celsius on your liquid, that is cooler than what the vapor coming into the condenser is. So in all reality, it's acting as a heat transfer fluid. Whereas with this, we're letting the air be the condenser. So this is a, effectively an air condenser. Um, a lot of, like I said, this is great for distilling CBD. So this condenser is a Gram style condenser. This one's completely different than the rest of the ones that I've showed so far, because rather than the vapor traveling around the coil, it's actually traveling through the coil. So these are pretty interesting condensers. They, uh, they're great for terpene distillation, things that are very 
um, low boiling point where you need a lot of surface area. And not only that, but using the Graham style also reduces the amount of cool you need because there's so much surface area that you don't need to get it as cold. So it's great for using our steam distillation kits. Um, you could also use this to capture um, terpenes from crude oil if you wanted to as well. This is a Friedrichs condenser. So it's similar to a cold finger condenser. However, it's got this molded glass section inside that increases the surface area, similar to that of a coil condenser. So these are great for almost pre-traps, um, terpene distillation, auxiliary condensers. We actually sell a really cool auxiliary condenser kit that has been around for a few years. These are great for that because you can pull lighter compounds off using this with much more surface area and then switch over to your more viscous condensing apparatuses for your cannabinoid distillates. So I just mentioned this, but this is technically a cold finger condenser. So cold finger condensers come in an array of different kinds. Um, they're used as auxiliary condensers on wipers quite often. Ours is modular in the sense that we can put it downstream after our condenser and create a secondary condensation point so that we're reducing the load on the cold track. In all reality, creating areas of pressure drop in distillation systems greatly helps the vacuum system because essentially each area of pressure drop, shrinking molecules, creates vacuum or, or basically reduces pressure at that point. So what's great about doing that before we get to the cold trap is we're slowing down the molecules before they get there so the cold trap works better. Thus, we don't need as strong as a vacuum pump. Not using an overly strong vacuum pump helps the longevity of the pump because we're not sucking all the crap that would normally condense in the various part of the system. We're not sucking it into the pump oil. Instead, it's just condensing where it's supposed to condense. So that's kind of the principle behind all of our systems is trying to keep what's keep the liquids inside the system at the right point so that we're increasing the longevity of all of our equipment. Yeah, so these are the different types of condensers. Um, there's obviously many more out there. Uh, these are the main ones that we've developed, well, not developed, but really implemented for use on all of our distillation systems. Yeah, thanks for watching.